Hey, welcome back gardener friends. This is Ed Frolish with the First Time Gardener. And today I'm excited to show you a little something here. And as the thumbnail says, this is a big change forever in my garden. Um, and I just wanted to show you what we did and how this transitioned my garden to amazing from what it was before. So a couple of my issues were that my dog, my little dog you've seen running around before, she likes to dig and she keeps coming in the garden with me and I don't mind her being in here, but she keeps digging up my stuff. I wanted to put a fence up to divide the back half of the yard to keep her out of my garden section. Also, I wanted to uh, add some more trellises to my backyard here for um, anything that I'm growing that I need a trellis for. Peggy and I came together and I didn't think she was gonna go for this, but she did rather than a chain link fence to match the fence that we have already going around the property, I wanted to put up a cattle panel to use as a fence as well as a trellis. And Peggy thought that was a great idea, so the other day we went out, we bought the stuff, and uh, her and I put up this fence together, and I wanna show you what we did and how it's changed my whole backyard for gardening in a big positive way. All right, guys, so here is the fence we put up. And it blocks off that whole section of that backyard the dog has to run and she will not get into my garden here. That she keeps digging up stuff in here. So anyway, let me take you over a little closer and show you. So these are land landscape timbers that we've got. Um, they're the center pine cutouts of the pine tree. So they're a hard core and they're pressure treated. And they're at Lowe's, I got these and they're $4.95 a piece. So they're a little cheaper than the eight foot four by fours, which are $10 a piece. And then I have these cattle panels. Now these cattle panels, I ended up having to get from Rural King. Tractor Supply had them as well, but they only came in 16 foot lengths. Um, these are eight, eight foot lengths by 50, I think it's 54 inches high, but um, they were easier to haul in my truck. I didn't have them hanging over the tailgate. So that's why I opted to go with the eight foot sections just because it was maneuverability and, and transportation, it was a lot easier to, to pick up these eight foot ones versus the 16 foot ones. But anyway, they have a, they're good sturdy, they're welded. And these are the same ones that I used over in my garden for my uh, trellises for the um, cucumbers that we're gonna do. And I've got it all down here. So I've got four sections. So it's almost 32 feet. This last section overlaps a little bit right here where you can see from that post to right here it overlaps so I just zip tied it here just to keep it tight but it comes all the way down and butts to my fence so that's taken a lot of area I can use now here to grow stuff and I can use this as a trellis and it keeps it a fence up for the dog so the dog doesn't come into my yard. And let me show you what we're going to do along this fence here. So today I built this little box. This is out of fencing material that you would buy. I got this at Lowe's. They were uh, I think $4, four, $4 and change each. They're uh, almost six inches. They're like five and three quarter inches boards. They're used for the fencing, board and bat fencing that you put up and I use those. And I planted some strawberries in here um, for Peggy. That's the only berry Peggy likes. She doesn't like the blueberries, blackberries or raspberries. So uh, we've got some strawberries. Started with six plants in here. Now I used a lot of my compost and some potting soil. I use compost and potting soil here to fill this bed up. 
um, and then I planted the strawberries in there and then on top I went out around the yard and I picked up the uh, Spanish moss I'm using that for ground cover just to keep the ground and the earth moist so the Sun doesn't dry it up so I'm hoping that these are going to do well here in this section it gets um, morning and afternoon Sun right now it's midday almost noon and it, it casts a little shadow here because of that tree right there but as soon as the Sun clears that tree it'll be in the full Sun for the rest of the afternoon and then here are my thornless blackberry bushes that I bought I have two of them I have one here and one there and these are the Navajo thornless blackberries I bought purchased these at Lowe's and I'm gonna build a box around here I just haven't done it yet and as they go as the shoots come up here I'm gonna train them to go on to this trellis and I'm gonna put them to this trellis and then as you back up I'll have them going back and forth along this trellis here and try to keep it in this square eight foot section will be my blackberries if I have to extend them over the strawberries I can a little bit um, since the strawberry bushes don't get that big and they don't climb so we could utilize that part of the fence there as well so right here I moved my five gallon bucket tray here um, this is not staying here but for the temporary time it gets me out of the center of the yard back here and uh, this is going to be my raspberry section for raspberries eventually um, and these five gallon bucket grow tables that I had here this one here I'm going to build I want to build three more just like it and they're going to go on the back side of that fence along the backyard and the reason being is we just had a couple days of rain you really can't see it now it's gone down but it holds puddles of water at the bottom foot of that um, fence so what I want to do eventually is I'm going to level this ground off you can see the holes were right over there where my dog has been digging but anyway I'm going to level this off and all the way down this fence line here I'm going to have my five gallon bucket and then from this post right here that you see to the fence where it comes over here I'm moving my compost pile to here and I don't know if you can see it but it's way over yonder you can see those pallets over there that's where I originally put my compost pile but it's too far away from the garden so this is going to be a lot easier once I harvest stuff and I have uh, vegetation that I want to put in there I'm going to put it right here and that's going to be my composting plus and it'll be real close available to the garden so anyway uh, I just wanted to bring that to you real quick I was excited about um, killing two birds with one stone being the fence and having a trellis as well for my blackberries because I knew I had these blackberries have been sitting in this bucket for a couple weeks trying to figure out where I wanted to put them where I wanted to plant them because I want them pretty much stationary because they're going to be here for several years wherever I planted them so I wanted a good place to put them so anyway I hope you like this video it's a real short video but I was really excited to show you guys how this one little thing here changed the whole concept of my garden area and uh, now I have trellises and stuff to grow my uh, berries on and this opens me up for an area back here so anyway thanks for watching this short video guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video maybe this is a good idea for your garden or somewhere in your area that you'd like to do uh, if you need to put up a fence or cross your your yard off from animals or just maybe people that are cutting through your yard so this might be an idea for you too anyway that's it for today take care god bless if you have any comments leave them in the comment section and we will see you on that next video thanks so much take care have a good one